Okay, so uh, this is like a s quick, fast project called Vase Mode. You can make vases with it. So if you have time, you can prepare an STL and we can print these for you. Here's some examples. You can see uh, you can make it more like a bowl or a vase. And uh, it's got some interesting geometry. Some of these are a little more complicated. I'm going to show you how to make a really simple one. And this is what's happening in, uh, in Cura. It's a solid body but we have a special, um, special mode called Smooth Spiralized Contours. We turn that on, and then you, uh, Cura actually prints a special mode where it just prints one layer on the outside. You can see that, okay? So what does that look like in Fusion 360? Well, we're gonna look like, uh, we're gonna create um, some solid objects, some solid bodies that um, have interesting geometry. I'm mainly going to be using the, the loft. I'll show you a couple other things um, to create this. And I can see I went from a, a roundy shape to a spiky shape at the top. This one uses something called a sweep, which is really simple. It can be more like a small bowl. Um, and it's really just made from creating uh, different sketches on different planes. You can see these three sketches. And then the loft basically creates the shape between the three. All right, let's go ahead and try a new design. I'm going to show you the loft technique first. We're going to create a sketch here. Now you can create anything you want but to make it uh, kind of symmetrical, I'm going to um, kind of keep within the same design parameters. Okay. So I've created kind of like a, a quarter of the circle. That's good enough. And I can go down here to circular pattern. I can highlight my, let me undo that. To click on just the lines. Okay, we're selecting the center point. And if you go, if you press four of them, if you did it correctly, you can overlap the lines. That's fine as well. But if you if you come out to the fourth or the fifth, maybe go to the fifth one, fifth centimeter on each one, it'll make a perfect circle. So you hit OK. There is the bottom. Very interesting. You can finish your sketch. Click on construction plan. It's construction plane. Uh, let's go 10 centimeters up, and we're going to create the second sketch up here. This one, you can see the old one uh, from below, but this one is going to be more arc. So maybe I'll use the spline tool. So I'm going to go to five, and I'm going to go and just kind of go. I'm going to go to five here. Then I'm going to finish that. Create a circular pattern. Create the center spot, make it four, hit OK, and finish the sketch. We've got our bottom and our top, so let's create a loft between them. Click one, click the other. There you have your... There are a lot more things you can do. Um, if you click direction, you get a little twist in it. I think kind of cool. Like that. And then you can just export this body as a mesh. We're going to start using 3MF, not STL anymore. So just uh, export it as a 3MF. My vase, Mr. M. Right, there you go. And remember with Fusion 360, there's so many cool things you can do. You could go back into this sketch right here. And I could, I could pull on these. Make it more like a starfish. I don't know, make it like this. Click finish sketch. And there you've got a different, a whole different, um, S, not STL, but a whole different body. Um, a couple other things you can do. You can, you can add additional um, shapes. So you can have lofting between three. So in this case, I've got one in the center to kind of show um, it go to a circle and then go to the more spiky shape, okay. Um, let's see, you can 
this is another example of of that. So let me show you this sweep mode. So try one of those, and then if you want to come back and learn one other way, I'll show you this sweep mode because it's actually kind of cool too. So we're going to start with a sketch on the bottom. We're looking down at it. And this time I'm going to use some circles, some big circles. I could do whatever I want here. Different, like a maybe bubbly. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Just hit escape. Here, maybe I'll even just do this arc right here, three-point arc. Okay. I'm going to trim off some of this stuff that I don't want. So I just want the, you just want the outer part. So I've got this part. I actually don't want that part right there, so I'm going to put a point right here. Oh, and if you're not snapping to grid, definitely put this on because it helps to, to snap to these points. It's one of the only times where snap is really good. Um, and then you should be able to cut it. Maybe not. Okay, I'm going to cut that off, and then I'm going to create an arc from here. Here, I'm going to be going to go like that. Okay, so create a circular pattern. Now we're selecting our circular pattern. Select the center. Let's go to one more. Okay, I must have missed something. I'm going to say okay. I'm just going to trim off the parts I don't want. That's okay. Alright, this is exciting stuff. Let me get to the, the actual... Oh no. This could mess up the actual um, base mode, so I'm just taking out all these extra bits here. Couple more here. Oh, whoops! Just Command Z if you mess up. And I got one more right here. I don't want not want this one. I don't want that one. So I'm gonna finish sketch. I can select that hole. Okay. I also need to make a sketch. Nope. Finish sketch. I need to make a sketch on this plane right here. And I'm gonna just draw the line straight up. Actually, maybe. Okay, and then I'm also going to create a construction plane that is 10. I think that's where I went, 10 up. So this time I'm, I'm going to use something called a sweep, and I'm going to click on it, and it says what path do you want. I'm going to click on this path, and it just, it did a loft, but I didn't have to draw the top part. So this has up there. Uh, it has a couple of other things that you can do. Twist angles. So if I say 45 degrees, you can see you get that twist on there. You can do 180 and go all the way around. Kind of cool looking. Maybe too much. Let's go 90. You also can taper a little bit. Let's say 10. That makes it come out more like a bowl. Let's say 20. I think that looks kind of cool. There are actually hundreds of ways to use the these uh, tools, but it looks that would be print. And go ahead and just export it. And remember, we're going to use um, 3MF. Sweep base mode, Mr. M. Okay, we'll have fun with that. And send me some STLs, and we can print them for next class.